Have you ever had difficulties figuring out how to secure your motor to an electronics project? Perhaps you tried to use a hot glue gun to secure the horn of a motor to a wheel or a part of your project and it broke. Or maybe you're starting out with motors for the first time and you know how to get the motor to turn with an Arduino or Raspberry Pi code, but you're stuck on what to do next. In today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to some basic ways that you can secure a motor to your project robustly and reliably so that your project parts will move how you want them to. First of all, here are two of the most common types of motors. Both have what is called a drive shaft, which is a rod or a part of the motor that rotates. On the left is a motor with splines, which are little ridges or teeth on the drive shaft that match with the grooves on a mating piece to transfer the torque and maintain angular correspondence between the shaft and the mating piece. On the right is a motor with just a cylindrical rod, but you'll notice that one section of the rod is actually flat. So how do we connect parts of our project to these motors? Well, for the type of motor that has splines, you can purchase parts that have built-in mating hubs to interlock with the spline, such as horns that come with this motor, or some other part that you can purchase elsewhere, such as this gear with the female spline on the inside. The Builder brand also sells a servo hub shaft that looks like this one, except that it comes with a spline on the inside with teeth, rather than being smooth on the inside like this one is. The servo hub shaft works for attaching your motor to something flat that you want to rotate, such as a wheel or a gear. On the other hand, you can use a servo spline to shaft coupling with a set screw. This is the set screw, such as this one here, to attach your motor to a rod that is parallel with the shaft. This can be useful in cases when you want to have a motor turn along rod or shaft. As you can see, there are teeth here that attach to the teeth of this motor. For the type of motor with a shaft that doesn't have splines, you can use a universal mounting hub for your shaft. These come in a variety of different sizes, but all of them usually come with a set screw. This is the set screw here. A set screw is basically a screw that doesn't have a head. So you can see here is a screw that has a head. This screw does not have a head. The set screw is pushed up against the flat portion of the drive shaft to secure the motor in place, like so. We can align the flat portion of the shaft here, align the set screw over that section, and then tighten. And now we can see here that it's secured in place. And when the drive shaft moves, it can move the hub. Alternatively, if you have access to CAD or 2D drafting software, you can measure the dimensions of your drive shaft. And you can create basically a custom laser cut attachment piece like this one here. And that piece can then fit into the shaft and will then rotate as the shaft rotates, which I will demonstrate in a second here. So we can see that it can rotate with the shaft. So then, now we know how to connect the motor shaft to different other parts that can then rotate as part of your project. But how do we secure the parts to the project itself? To attach the hub shaft, 
gear or laser cut part, essentially you can just drill holes through it and also through part of your project and use screws and nuts to attach the two together. For example, we have this one here. We have some holes drilled in and you can use very small screws to screw through. This would then attach here and you could then screw a hole through your part of your project as well. Same with this one, it already has the holes laser cut. And when you have a screw and a nut, the nut will hold the screw in place, even though this is a non-threaded hole here. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.